Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the task stack setting for free RTOS on ESP32. Okay, so um, from previous example, um, we use the task create function to create one task. Here, this is the stack setting. Okay, this is uh, uh, this is uh, we setting one default number for the stack. So let's go back to take a look the menu reference menu. Okay, for the stack depth for the stack depth, uh, the description is here. Okay. So um the stack uh it specify the number of the words the stack can hold, okay, not the number of the byte, okay. Not the number of the byte, okay. So uh here if one uh architecture is four by stack width and then the stack depth is 100 then it will be 400 bytes of stack space okay so this value is the depth is the depth not the number of the byte okay for the i dot task for the i dot task this value is divided by for the idle task uh, the stack step the stack depth is this value okay is minimum stack size so for the ESP32 uh, the define is in here free RTOS config dot uh, it is here config minimum stack size uh, is this value so it is for the idle task okay so how we um how we set this value how big we need to set it so if it is too small it will overflow the stack will be overflow so how we so how we decide uh, what kind of number for this value okay so we have one way to uh, to to setting this value so when we when we use the task create my task we estimate one value uh, a little bit bigger value put it here and then we use one function to get the task running status the stack numbers so we can use this function uh, the task we can use uh, It is here. Task get stack high water mark. When the task is running, we can use this function to get the stack high water mark to check the uh, how 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 many free space in the stack. So we can change the stack number according to free stack numbers. For example, if the free space uh, we have a big free stack numbers, so we can uh, deduct the default setting. If we have small numbers, we can increase the stack numbers. 
the stack depths. Okay. So how we do it? And uh, here we uh, change our code. Uh, change a little bit our code. We remove this one. We remove all of this and remove this. We keep one. Uh, we keep one task here. We keep one task. Uh, we keep change this code. Move it into the application main. Change it as task my task one handle. Okay, so we get the handle at this position. Okay, and we ch remove this code. Make the my task is a very very simple one. Just uh, print out my task one. Okay. So we save it. Here we create the uh, my task one and uh, setting the setting one default value one k here, and we get the my task one handle. Now we use one while loop. While loop. And uh, we use this function uh, get stack high watermark, copy it, put it here. So the input parameter is the task handle. This function will get the free stack number uh, for the for the my task one, okay. So we will check when the system is running, when the system is running, how much free stack in the uh, in the system. So we can change this one as the one, okay. So here we define we define one variable to get the. We define this one. This is uh, unsigned int. We put it here. And this is I free. Free stack number. Make it the default value as zero. And then we get it from this function and we will print it out. Uh, this one equal to this. We print it out. And here we do some delay. Okay. Also, we do one second delay. One second delay. This call means uh, we create the my task one and make it running, uh, continuously running. And uh, when it is running, we use this function to check the st stack, the free stack number. And we print it out. We will we will check when the uh, task is running, how how many free stack, how much free stack number is in the system. Okay. So according to the information, according to the free stack number, we can decrease this number or increase this number. Okay. So we save it. Okay, so we uh, next step we need to compile it. We open our compile environment. Uh, 
Okay, here, um, the first thing is we go into our folder, go into um, my code, and go into Hello World, and IDF PE build. Okay, it is begin to build the code. Generate the link file. Link yell file. Okay, next we need to fresh it. So here it tell us no shareable fund. Okay, I I didn't plug it, plug my uh, ESP32 ball on my computer, so I plug it right now. Okay, so I fresh it again. Okay, it find the co common port. Okay, so it's done. The so next step is open our monitor to s to see the output information. So you will see. Uh, we stop it first. So at the very beginning, uh, the free stack number is 732. After the uh, print out my task one, it, it became to 376. Okay, it uh, almost half of it. It means the print, print uh, uh, code occupy roughly 300 roughly uh, 300 uh, stack numbers so let's remove this one to check remove the print off so remove the print off and uh, let's see this free stack number will change or not okay so it means um, if we remove the print out so how about this number the free stack number how okay let's uh, build it let's build it generating the link file link ELF file generate the bin file okay next we fresh it is fresh okay so we open our monitor okay so you will see this number is different so this number we stop the monitor output information the first number is the same uh, around uh, 732 and this number is different is uh, 600 is 684 okay is 684 it means uh, let's go back take a look you will see it's different from this one 
it means the printf uh, occupy around 300 number. Okay, so in this situation, we have lots of uh, free numbers, free stack numbers. So next step, uh, we can uh, change this default number. We change it as half of it. So it's uh, 5, 12, 512. We change half of it to see whether it will running successfully or not. Okay, we save it. So um, we still build it. Generate the link file. Link EL file. Generating bin file. Okay, and we fresh it. Okay, so we uh, monitor, open our monitor to see, to check the output information. Okay, so it still have some free stack here. Okay, it's running successfully, it's running successfully. So how about if we still deduct half of it what will happen okay so we change like uh, uh, two fifty six okay we change like this number half of half of the previous number and we compile it and to see what will happen we stop the monitor first we compile it We build it. Generate the link file. Link ELF file. Generate bin file. Okay, and then we fresh it. Okay, so we open our monitor. Okay, so you will see here it's, uh, it's already uh, reboot continuously, reset, reset the uh, C MCPU, you will see here, you will see here, there is an error here, there is an error here, a stack overflow in task my task one has been detected is this one it means um it means this number is too small for our task this number is too small for our task so um when you see the information when you see the information like this you can increase the stack number here increase the stack number here uh, by this way, by this way, we can uh, set a uh, properly. We can set one shootable um, stack number for every for every task uh, for every task. So, for the uh, task.
task stack setting, ah,、uh, our strategy is this one. At the very beginning, at the very beginning, we set a little bit big number for our task. We set a little bit, a little bit big number for our task, and then we use this function. We use this function to get the free stack number to check whether the free stack number is big or small. If it is,、um, if this number is too big, we can deduct.、Uh, we can deduct the stack number here. So, if we get some stack overflow information, we can increase the stack number here. Okay. So this is this video. I'm Michael. See you next time.